From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. All right, thanks, Mike. Well, you know, something else Hurricane Irene may have left behind, if not yet, soon. Mold, potentially, you know, in addition to flooding broken pipes and damaged sump pumps can cause water to build up behind walls, under carpets. And this is such a serious issue because it can exacerbate problems that people have with mm -hmm. allergies. Uh, it can also begin to cause allergies and sinus problems. Right. So let, let's talk a little bit about this more. Uh, joining us with some tips on this and avoiding the, um, the mold is an investigator, Gene Birch. He's from the RTK Environmental Group. Thank you so much for joining us. So uh, if we have water in our homes already, what can we do to try to prevent a buildup of this toxic mold? The biggest thing you have to do is to dry out everything 100% very quickly because mold will start growing in 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. It's not something that takes weeks or months. It can start um, almost immediately. So as your basements are drying out, the materials that are down there now, the carpeting, the wet drywall, the furniture, that has to be removed out of this uh, house immediately. Okay, so even if some of these things got a little bit wet, a couch, carpeting, rip it all out? Uh, if it's a carpet or furniture, you can get the surface dry, but you can't get into it. Like uh, the people the padding going, below will just hold right. on to that water, right? People are going in there now with dry vacs and fans, and they're drying out their carpet. On the surface, it feels dry, but if we take moisture meters, we could go around and find that what's underneath is what is wet. The surface looks dry, but here you can see a wet patch underneath. Mm -hmm. It's the underlying product that gets wet, and people don't realize that. And that's where your mold now is going to start Hold that up for the growing. camera, because you mentioned this is enough to cause a problem. Right. And you can barely make that out on an HD camera. It's not right. a lot of water. It's not you, a lot you know. of water. In walls, um, this is your wall in your basement. Uh, you can't see any moisture here, mm -hmm. but on the back side where you can't see, there's wet spots. And if this spot stays wet for 24 to 48 hours, that is going to start a mold growth. Now, so how do you know if, if the mold is just a little bit of a mildew problem or if it's far more serious leading to toxic mold, which can cause health problems? Typically what we'll do in a part of our investigation is come in and do air sampling. Uh, the test to see if the uh, mold has gotten out into the environment where the moisture was or if it has spread through other parts of the house. All right, the, uh, times are tough. Uh, not everybody's going to be able to call right. in uh, a company such as yours. So what can we do on our own to try to, to, try to uh, make sure that our homes are safe? Immediately get it dried out and dry it out thoroughly. You may have mm -hmm. to call in a professional to uh, do actual complete drying to get it to a point where you're going to be safe. Uh, and how would you do that? Just bring massive fans in and... and a fan, again, is going to dry the surface. It's yeah. behind the scenes where you can't get with a typical dryer, where you may have to have a professional come in and actually punk holes in the walls and dry, extract the water oh, okay. from behind it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if, if you're not calling in a professional, what, what can you do on your own? Uh, the best you can. Uh, you can remove the wet materials, dry it out, use your fans, do, use your dehumidifiers, do whatever you can, because right now the drying companies are... Uh, going 24-7, right, and you right. may not get somebody out there sure. for a week or two. So. Now, what about this moisture meter? I mean, this is something that can detect moisture from a spot that your eye may not be able to see. Correct. Can you pick up one of these things at Home Depot? Uh, typically, no. These run about seven, $800. It's oh. not something that people okay. can go well. out. Um, thermal imaging cameras, cameras uh, again, they run thousands of dollars. It's not what your typical homeowner is going to uh, go out and right. buy. One other issue that's coming up now with um, materials that have to be removed in pre-78 houses, there's now lead regulation from the EPA where contractors must be trained and certified to do removal. So that's putting another uh, So that's something problem. you'd have to check with, with your contractor before right. you have them do that Correct. work. Make sure that they're registered with the EPA and they're properly trained to do any removals. Okay, and again, you say that mold can start within 24 to 48 hours. Yes. So uh, get, that, uh, get that moldy carpet, get that wet carpet out, furniture, just toss it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, All right. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, thank you so much, uh, Robert Weitz, for joining us. Thank okay. You. All right. Okay. You know, for more information on how to deal with mold, you can go to our website, myfoxny.com, and click on the Good Day tab. Yeah, and coming up in just a